In this Alight Motion tutorial, we're going to learn how to create this simple and elegant looking photo slideshow animation. And the best part is that you don't need a subscription account to achieve this. Yes, you can do this with your free account. Without wasting much time, let's jump into Alight Motion and get started. We'll start by creating a new element. I'm naming it Photo Sliding. Set the resolution to your desired preference. I'm using 60 frame per second for a much smoother animation. First, we'll create a round rectangle, scale it to fit the screen and rotate it to 45 degree, then move the rectangle to the left like this. Import your image. Move the layer of the rectangle on top of the image, then set the blend mode to mask. Let's move the image to fit in the rectangle properly. Select the rectangle, Move to 2 seconds and set a keyframe for its position. Move back to the beginning of your timeline and move the rectangle to the left till it moves out of the screen like this. Also at 2 seconds, set a keyframe for the image scale size. Move back to the beginning and increase it to about twice its size. Now let's add some easing to it. Select Easy Ease and adjust the curve to something like this. Use this same curve for the image zooming animation. That's it for our first photo sliding animation. For our second photo sliding animation, just simply duplicate the first element, open it, and all you just need to do is to replace the image and the keyframes will remain the same. You can repeat this process for the number of images you have. Now let's create the main project. I'm going to name it main project, with the size and frame rate is the same as the element we initially created. We'll start by creating a rectangle which we'll use as our background. Set its color to a light gray. Go to options and select fill screen. Extend the timeline to about 4 seconds. Now let's import the element of the photo sliding animation we initially created. Right when our image starts to slide in, we'll add our text. I'm simply going to type photography, and I'm going to be using this font called Oswald. I'm going to set its color to black and place it right here. Then I'm going to duplicate it, change the text to slideshow, make it bold and bring it down a little bit like this. For our text animation, we're going to create a rectangle and scale it up to cover our text like this. Then change the blend mode to mask. Move forward like 2 seconds, set a keyframe for its current position, go back to the beginning of the text and move it down till it disappears. Open the graph editor, select Easy Ease and adjust the curve to something like this. Copy the curve, we're going to need it later. Now select both the rectangle and the text and group them together. We're going to do something similar for our second text. Change the blend mode to mask. Move forward like 2 seconds and set a keyframe for its current position. Move back to the beginning of our text and move it upward till it disappears. Now let's paste the easing curve we copied from the first text. Select both layers and group them. Now we can import the next photo sliding animation. Place it right after the first image slides in completely. Then select all the layers and extend them to the end of the timeline. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please don't forget to leave a like and if you have any question, drop it at the comment section below. On our next tutorial, we're going to create this liquid reveal animation, so be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll get notified as soon as I upload it. Thanks for watching, bye for now.